Hey, how's it going everyone? What is up and welcome back to the channel and another MK11 discussion video. Before we get into it, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. And also like the video, it helps the channel out a lot. And also leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you want me to talk about, what topics you want to hear me talk about. Any suggested, vi suggested videos, I love to talk about it. Uh, everything. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So today we're talking about an interesting topic that my fiance actually brought to my attention to begin with. And uh, as soon as she brought it to my attention, I looked to my right at my comments and a commenter brought it to my attention. I don't remember your name, but good looking out, good theory, and we're going to use it and talk about it because it is a really damn good theory. So the thing about Aftermath is Aftermath, it is introducing the never before seen fucking DLC, story DLC into Mortal Kombat games and possibly Injustice games. So this DLC that's coming out is carrying on the story of Mortal Kombat 11 in a good way. It's bringing back characters to the story, characters that we wanted to see for years, playable characters that we wanted to play as for years. It's a really cool DLC. Now the theory is, what was brought to my attention is that I've been talking about an Aftermath Part 2 that was leaked along with the Aftermath leak that was actually confirmed, of course, by Aftermath releasing. In the leak, it says that Aftermath will have a Part 2, whether it's a Part 2 of Aftermath or something called New Beginnings or something like that, that carries on the story in another way, not technically Aftermath Part 2, but that's what I'm calling it, uh, would introduce more characters and more story, more DLC to that, and that's slated to release according to the leak around the same time next year. Now the thing that was brought to my attention, the theory is, what if these characters that we're making these videos for, like Reptile and Melina, and other characters, Smoke, Human Smoke, and all these characters that we've wanted to see return to Mortal Kombat, Melina I guess since last year, but Rain, and all of these characters that we've wanted to see come back and be playable since MK9, what if they were revealed at the end of Aftermath, like as a cliffhanger ending, Kind of the way MK11 in general was a cliffhanger ending and we led into Aftermath, which is awesome. But what if there was a cliffhanger ending that reintroduced Molina, reintroduced Smoke, reintroduced Rain, reintroduced Reptile, all of these characters that we've been talking about and we've been wanting to see. What if it introduced them and left it on a cliffhanger to lead into Aftermath Part 2, as I'm calling it? I think that would be a really good idea and I actually... Surprisingly enough, being kind of like a MK Theory video channel, I actually never really thought about that. I never put two and two together that that was a possibility, but it definitely really fucking is. And I think Ed Boon also, and the writers and directors and creators over at NetherRealm, I think that they know this would be a damn good idea. So can I 100% confirm that this is gonna happen? No, but if you look at it, the best way to introduce new characters into a game is to have a cliffhanger ending. It's the same with TV shows and movies. You have cliffhangers that bring in and introduce new characters, characters that you want to see, and all of that cool stuff. So, having these characters show up uh, with a possibility for an Aftermath Part 2 of sorts, having these characters actually show up as a cliffhanger ending, you know, them walking through a portal and having another startled Raiden going, fucking, Malia? You know, like he was in the trailer for uh, Aftermath. I think that would be really cool. I think them ending Aftermath as a cliffhanger and introducing these other characters into the story, I think that would be a really damn good idea and would benefit Netherrealm a lot because as I talked about in my Melina and my Reptile video and eventually my Smoke video, because uh, we're going to be making a video about Smoke too, uh, I definitely think that would be the best way to reintroduce these characters. It would have a cliffhanger ending and they would all show up at the end. And, you know, it would lead into the next story. Now, granted, we wouldn't get the next story for, like, another year. But we would know these characters are coming. And they could do what I talked about in my Molina video, I believe it is. And they could release these characters in Combat Pack 2. And do what they did with Shang Tsung and Nightwolf and Sindel. And have them play into the story that way. I think that would also be really interesting and a cool way to play these characters back into the story. Bring them back into Mortal Kombat in an awesome way. I think that would be the best way to do it. And I think Ed Boon also knows that now that, you know, we all know he's doing story DLC. We all know he's doing all these other cool things with Mortal Kombat and everything else. I think he knows that that would be a great way to reintroduce characters. But of course, like I said, I can't really confirm anything. Of course, I am just a fucking theory 
a video maker, but, you know, logically thinking, if they were going to do multiple parks to uh, DLC story, I do think logically the best way to do it would be to introduce some of these characters as a cliffhanger ending. If they wanted to do an Aftermath Part 3, if they were going to structure it out and make it live literally up until Injustice 3 came out, or whatever game they're working on right now, I think an Aftermath Part 3 could happen too, and it could do the exact same thing that we're talking about for Aftermath Part 2. Uh, it's just really waiting and seeing. I definitely think this is a good theory, so shout out to my fiance and the guy in the comments. I can't remember your name, brother. If you comment, I will highlight and ping your comment so people know it was you. Thank y'all so much for giving me this theory because it really actually intrigued me and interested me. I think it's a really damn good idea. I think it's an awesome idea, and I can't wait to see if they actually do it. We got, like, less than 10 days to go before Aftermath comes out, and I get busier than I already am. But... That's going to do it for today's uh, video, guys. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Let me know if you think that characters will be reintroduced as like a cliffhanger ending for Aftermath. Let me know what you think about that. And also leave me uh, other suggested video ideas in the comments below. Let me know what you want to hear me talk about. I already got a smoke video coming up. And a couple of other videos coming up to Kata and all those characters that we're going to be talking about. Whether I think they're going to be in or not. And before we end the video, let's talk about this giveaway a little bit. So we're doing two giveaways currently right now, one on YouTube and one on Twitch. They're two separate giveaways, and both of them are for a $25 PSN or Xbox Live card. Now, if you're in the UK, like I had someone ask earlier, I will buy an USD for you, or not USD, but, uh, you know, whatever the UK currency is. I'm a little tired, so I can't think of that. But the way you enter the YouTube giveaway is you uh, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and follow me on Twitter. You can also get extra entries, as some people found out my secret uh, earlier to, uh, yesterday. Uh, all you, to get extra entries, you can go through and retweet every video that talks about this giveaway. And that will get you an extra entry. Extra entry. Even if you just retweet this one. We've had about three so far, so you can get three extra entries with this video. For the Twitch giveaway, it's a little bit simple. All you gotta do is go over to Twitch and hit that follow button. And also follow me on Twitter. You don't have to retweet or anything for that one. But that is gonna do it for today's video. Jesus. That is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Please like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Tootin, and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.